Hey, what's up, everybody? Lorenzo with Alternative City Comics with another indie comic review. Uh, this time I'm doing Bliss, which is from Image Comics. It's written by Sean Lewis and illustrated beautifully by Caitlin Yarsky. Uh, this is a story about uh, a guy who is in the openness, he's defending his father, but it seems like he's maybe the lawyer. Uh, uh, defending his father for the crimes that he's committed. Uh, he's facing the magistrate with all his father's, his father's victims in the crowd, pretty much jeering them on. And what the, the son is doing is explaining his father's motives for being what the Jewish calls a monster. He's a, a, a mass murderer or a serial killer, if you will. Um, the son retells the story of how his father and mother met. Uh, that he lived in, I guess, some uh, rural area. Uh, her father was against the marriage. Uh, she she ran off with uh, his mother. She ran off with the, with his father to the city. Excuse me. And they, of course, she was already pregnant with him. So by the time that they had him, he came out with lots of uh, medical needs. He needed lots of medicine. Uh, his father was not making a lot of money. So at some point, his father took a trip to the Docktown part of uh, the city. The city is called Feral City, by the way. Uh, and, and there in the Docktown area, he met up with the Docktown Mafia, which is kind of like these, these Jabba the Hutt-like creatures. Some of them are, uh, they're all uh, otherworldly type looking creatures. And these creatures get people to do things for money. Um, they give them this drug called bliss so that once they finish these deeds they'll have to live with the guilt of the horrible things that they've done and it's a addictive drug it pays lots of money uh, his father has done these these things many many times because he needed to pay for the boys medical bills and put food on the table uh, at one point he has to fight this big hulk of a guy for like an orange because his, his son loves oranges so much and the son lovingly defending his father and trying to justify the things that he's done and the judge is like you know tell it to those victims the first issue is, is almost not a lot happening uh, but in the second issue they start to get into the character development of the kids mother and father and you see their motivations you, you see how their marriage works and, uh, and how much they love each other and how much the son cares for his his, his mother and father his father is by the way imprisoned uh, in the the court where they're they're having his trial right now so we don't see his father except in flashback in the, the son's tales uh, I, I like this story I, I the first book didn't really do it a lot for me the second book I'm going to talk a lot about that, but I think it gets more into the details of the horrific crimes that that the, that the, that the father committed, all for his family, all to put food on the table, all to uh, pay for the, the son's medical bills, and it gets into more detail about that. Um, but the artwork by Caitlin Yarsky is gorgeous. They they really, I mean, the, the, the story is really helped a lot by her artwork. So. I'm going to give it another couple of issues and see how it goes. Uh, if it doesn't really take off, I may drop it. But the second issue really did it for me. So I haven't read number three yet. But uh, at this point, I think I'll give Bliss, um, give Bliss a shot just based on uh, the artwork and where the story could be going right now. Uh, the second issue was better than the first. So that's it for this Any Comics Review. I'll be doing more reviews soon, more unboxings, and so forth and so on. If you like what you see, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Um, more to come. And thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in my next video. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.